Here are five accounts everyone needs for financial freedom. Seriously, open these today. Hey guys, how's it going? Mike Vasile here. Welcome to this video. Before we actually begin, I remind you that several spots have opened up for this week's free workshop, where it's the fastest and easiest way to make money online. Sign up for it in the link below. We literally have a 62 year old woman go from zero to $160,000 profit in 90 days, so sign up now. I think what most people don't understand is I'm actually not the smartest person in the world. I'm actually an idiot when it comes to finances. I was never taught much, man. I was never taught much. Like my parents came from the Philippines to America, had me and my little sister in my entire life. All I knew was like biology and chemistry and science. I had no idea how to manage money. So it was just crazy when, for example, I left you know, the summer before dental school to pursue you know, business. I just thought, oh, if I like, make a bunch of money, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I don't have to do like with the you know, optimization of my finances and my checkings accounts. What I, I was just like, you know what, I'm just gonna get rich and everything's just gonna magically fall into place. Right? Like, you ever feel like that? You're like, oh, you know, like, I have this problem, but when I have more money, this problem will no longer be the case. I, I literally thought that too. I was like, okay, more money equals less problems, right? But then what ended up happening? I built a business that went from zero to five grand in 30 days to 1.6 million that first year. And on paper, you would be like, oh, good for you, Mike, good job. I ended up losing all of that money because of the fact that I didn't open these five accounts. I didn't actually have a plan of what to do with my finances after I've already made that. And what I would literally beg to anyone just getting started, even though this is financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor, is even if you are not successful, even if you are not wealthy, the fact that you are learning on what to do with your money and your finances towards financial freedom before you get a bunch of money is probably one of the best things that you could possibly do. Just take it from me, an idiot who literally went from zero to 1.6 million in, in, in 12 months and having a good amount of money where I can potentially put it away and not have to work for a long period of time, right? But because I didn't know these five accounts because I was like, oh, you know, this is gonna be easy. I'm gonna go figure it out when I make a bunch of money. I ended up losing it all. And you know, Jim Rohn talks about it the best, right? The best way to become a billionaire is to learn how to make a million dollars. Because if someone just gave you a million dollars and they're like, hey, here, like you literally just clicked on the subscribe button and now I'm literally handing you a million dollars through the screen and you didn't know what to do with it, you would lose it. You would literally lose it. And it's actually the financial literacy that I lacked in these five accounts that I learned that I needed to go ahead and open is what started propelling my success and my wealth. So that when I created another business that literally half of it pulls in 35 grand and 46 grand a month and the other half literally pulls in like combine, you know, six figures a month, I now know what to do with that money because I was stupid before and I made a mistake and I was like, okay, next time I make a lot of money, I will have these five accounts already. And like I said, I wish I did these five accounts on the first like windfall of success that I had so that I didn't have to lose all that money as well and I'd be further along than I had to. And like I said, if you do these today, like I said, even though this isn't financial advice and I'm not a financial advisor, you will save yourself a lot of pain and heartache and agony. So let's actually begin. So I'm literally just gonna go put it all up there and explain the psychology behind it. Okay, so checking, savings, Vanguard, tax, and debt. Right? So checkings is pretty simple, right? Whenever you have a business or make money online, like for example, uh, in my business, we pull in a good amount every single uh, month, right? We get paid like in different, like for example, like commissions here and like AdSense there and like payments there. So it comes up like randomly throughout the month, right? Um, and all that needs to go in a certain place. So literally where we end up putting it, of course, is a checkings account, right? So that's where you literally want all of your income to go ahead and do it. And of course, it could get even more complicated, but I just wanted to simplify it as much as possible, especially for people that are just getting started. Now, this checkings account will be separate than your personal checkings account. This is like a business account, okay? Most people that reach financial freedom don't do it because of like, for example, a 401k or because they worked a job for their entire life, right? Unless it was a crazy startup um, and, and they got like stock like in it because they were one of the first employees like in Facebook or, or Tesla or any one of that stuff, right? Um, most people that become successful, the people that I interview on my podcast, right, that went from like zero to 30 grand a month in five to eight weeks, like these guys, or people like this 11 year old girl that turned on $30 million or this guy that makes a million dollars per month profit, they're a secret vehicle 
to financial freedom was a business. Now that business needs a separate account than for example, your personal account. You don't wanna mix it because it's gonna be annoying for your accountant and taxes and all that. So literally one of the best things that I did was just open up a separate business checkings account for my business. So that way my business finances was separate from my personal finances. I don't want my accountant to know that I was spending like money on Doritos and Cheetos. That has nothing related to my business. Separating it is one of the best things because when you separate it, you could then measure how efficient your money is in your business and grow it over time. So like I said, just open up a business account. That should be your first thing. The second thing is savings. Okay, so what I like doing, uh, just because I don't wanna spend all of the money in the checkings, is I just create another account, and that could be kind of like my rainy day fund, okay? So I would literally put money into the savings account, so I, until I would get about like six to 12 months in, uh, for example, savings, so that if something happens, if your business sucks uh, for like a couple months, if it's not off the ground, if you lose your job, you could pay for you know your living expenses until you get your feet back off the ground. So for example, for me, I only spend like two grand a month. So I would essentially just need like 12 grand to 24 grand in this savings account where it's just there just in case. Literally just in case, okay? Um, and because of that, because you're putting money out for yourself, you need to then open up you know, a third one, which is a tax account, which essentially means like whenever you pull money out for yourself, so either savings or your investments, whatever, or even paying off your debt, you need to also set a certain amount up for the government, right? You gotta pay taxes. So one of the biggest things and the downfalls that happened here is I made all this money, all of the profit came in, and I also had to pay all these taxes that I wasn't ready for because no one ever taught me this in school and in college and, and, and anywhere, right? I was like, okay, like I understand I have to pay taxes, but that's like for future Mike to understand. That's for future Mike to worry about. Uh, he'll deal with that. And guess what? Future Mike came around and he realized that it's very stressful. And had I would have just set up another account where automatically it would have just, every single time I pulled money out of my savings, it would literally go into my tax account, that would have been just amazing, right? And like I said, uh, the biggest thing about wealth is just learning how to become more tax efficient. That's why people start businesses because then they can literally mitigate their taxes and lower it by just having more expenses and reinvesting back in their business, right? So like the entire system is literally kind of like incentivizing you to spend as much money on your business and throwing your money back into the economy so it stimulates the economy. Does that make sense, right? That's why a lot of business owners are literally incentivized to reinvest back in their business because it just grows the economy of, for example, the US, the world, and whatnot, right? Now the third one, I know, I know kind of like put it backwards, is Vanguard. Now this is another one that I literally got set up that I ended up figuring out when I read this book, A Simple Plan of Wealth. And I was like, oh, well actually, to quote unquote retire, because I only spend $2,000 a month, right? This book essentially told me that if you put it in the right investment vehicles, remember this isn't financial advice, I'm not a financial advisor, I'm just sharing with you what I learned in this book, right? $2,000 a month is only 12 grand, you know, uh, what is that, 24 grand a year, right? If I was gonna pull 24 grand a year out in my investments, that would need to be only 4%, and that way, you know, it doesn't, for example, be, like for example, if the market grows like seven to 10%, and I pull out only 4%, I would still have a good space of safety where my income will still grow. So potentially, I can have a certain amount of money in an investment where I can pull out two grand a month every single month for the rest of my life, and by the time I die, I would still probably have the 600 grand and then some. So that's kind of like the idea of secret financial freedom, right? You just gotta understand the numbers. And reading this book really helped out a lot. It essentially says that you wanna automate your wealth, open up a Vanguard account, and once or twice a month, automatically, from your business or your job or whatever, literally go and just put it away in this account so that you don't see it. Don't look at it every single day, right? But this is essentially the thing that will accidentally allow you to hit your financial freedom number. So what I did is I just set a disgustingly high percentage, okay? I don't live off of that much. So think about this, when I make like, for example, you know, 30 to 45 grand a month with just this one business model, right? Like, like how I like thinking about it is like, there's multiple streams of income. One stream of income, which I would say this is, right? A lot of this is just going and reinvest back into my business, okay? But the other streams of income, I literally said it, I'm like, okay, this is for future Mike, right? I think Jay Leno did this. Jay Leno had like his stand-up gig as well as like his like TV show thing. One he would live off of, he would live off of his stand-up and the TV show thing, he would just park it for future 
Jay Leno. I think it was like Jay Leno. It was someone famous, right? And he had those two streams of income. You live off of one, and the other one you just actively invest into your future. That's literally what I did. I'm like, okay, I can literally live off of two grand a month because I literally live here in Bali. This place that I live at that's by the beach, it's literally only like $700 a month. And I can just throw it all into the safe investment that I literally just read in the Simple Plan of Wealth. Now, like I said, this isn't financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. This is just a disclaimer. Now, the last but not least thing is debt, okay? So you want to pay yourself first, but you understand if you got student loan debt, if you got a mortgage, you've got all that stuff, you also need to set aside a budget to go ahead and pay that. But if you go ahead and go the route of like starting your own business, which like I said, that's how most people become successful. They start a business, they solve a problem, they sell a product, they sell other people's products and services. You also gotta pay off your debt. Now remember, when you pay off your debt, you also gotta, like every single time you pull money out into this, into this, or into this, you need to put aside whichever state or country or whatever jurisdiction you're in, you need to set aside an amount for taxes, like whatever it is that you go ahead and set. Like for me, I like being a lot safer by putting a higher percentage into there, right? Because that way, come tax season when they're like, oh, you have this much, I'm like, great, here it is, and I realize, oh, I still have extras, right? It's better to have extras that you could then like pay yourself as opposed to having not extras, and then you realize you have to find the funds elsewhere, which is very, very, very stressful. And if you just open these five, literally today, you will set yourself up for like a lot of success. And even if you just read these books, like A Simple Plan of Wealth, and another book is like Profit First, which is where I get a lot of this mentality, like payroll taxes, all this stuff, and they break down the percentages. Check out these books. And if you want to, like, if you're like, great, that's great, but I don't have any money, I don't have a business, then make sure you sign up for this week's free workshop below because it's literally how Dean at age 47, Ilio as an immigrant, and Greg at age 58, and even, for example, Francisco, literally living in Chile where the average income is $500 a month, went from zero to 30 grand a month faster than anything that they've ever tried before. So sign up for it in the free workshop below. Check out this. This podcast in this video right here. Hope it helps. Love you guys. See you guys later. Woo!